Hey guys, so today we are at DreamCore and I'm really excited because we're going to build a $4,000 video editing PC with the help of the experts here. So this is especially good for average consumers like myself who lack the knowledge of computers but want a high-performing machine. So DreamCore offers a specialized service to customize and configure computers suited to your needs rather than just giving you a generic gaming PC. In this video, we'll head over to their warehouse to pick out the parts that we'll need for our build and then assemble them in Dreamcore's latest case featuring a sandwich configuration. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So let's head up and meet the team. Hey Sean, welcome to our humble space. Our mission at Dreamcore is to ensure that anyone who wants to get a custom PC has a fantastic experience in the process. And that involves two things. The first part is ensuring that what you want to get is tailored to your needs. That means that you don't over-spec or you don't under-spec. Mm. Some people are limited by their budget, but we try to make that work. Yeah. The second part is actually making sure that the people who are entrusting their trust to us are taking care throughout the entire process. That means prior to you building a PC, through the sales process, we ensure you understand what you're getting. Uh, when it's being built, there are regular updates. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, if there are any issues, after sales comes to take care of you. Nice, that's exactly what I need. Awesome. I think you already told me we had a short conversation before this about what you intend to do with your PC. Yes, that's so right. So I've got something in mind for you. Why don't we go and uh, take a look at what I have planned. All right, that's great. Let's go. Okay. So the casing that we've got for you uh, is a mini ITX casing. All right. Okay. But we'll leave the review to later. Okay, great. So mini ITX means that the motherboard that you need is an ITX motherboard, a small size motherboard, right? Um, in terms of what CPU goes on that motherboard, um, I think we'll try an Intel chip for you. We'll do the i9 10900K and we'll pair it with okay, the Z490i Unify from MSI. Nice. Okay. okay. Okay, so that forms part of the core of your PC. Okay, the rest of it, let's go over here. All right. Actually, uh, you know, we're, we're about challenging misconceptions, la, right? So when people say that, you know, NVIDIA cards are great, well, they're not bad, they're good, they're popular, right? But that doesn't mean that the AMD cards are poor either, la, mm -hmm. right? So for you, what I want you to try is the top of the line, um, 6900 XT okay, from AMD. Okay, it's an AMD Radeon graphics card. This particular one is made by Sapphire. Nice. Okay, the model is the Nitro Plus. Okay, okay, cool. So we'll use this. I'm not sure whether you, you understand, okay, but if you're wondering how a graphics card this big can fit into an ITX case, we'll show you later. Uh, what else do we need now? We need some storage, we need some memory, okay? So all that is over here. Uh, you probably need 64 gigs of RAM. Now, ITX boards can only take two sticks of RAM, but uh, you have two single 32 gig sticks here. Okay, so this is by Patriot, right? You have uh, DDR4, 3600 megahertz RAM. Nice. Okay, 64 gigs of it. And storage, of course, uh, I will just do a two terabyte SSD for you. Lah. This is the primary storage, right? Correct. So this will be where your uh, Windows is installed on. Okay. And if you have a media cache, actually you can get a separate SSD, but we'll try one single two terabyte for now. All right, great. For your uh, archival purposes, we'll give you a larger hard drive. Lah. I think this is a four terabyte. Uh, hard drive so this is for like general storage, bigger files, not yeah. really to work off, but more to store? Well, sort of. Uh, this is for storing things that you don't need speed out of. Oh, okay. Right, so if you're opening a movie, double click, you can wait a couple of seconds, no worries. Yeah. Right? Um, but if you're loading a game, you know, like when you play Dota, yeah. like when you load the map, there's like, everyone's loading, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be slow, right? Okay. So you can install like the things that you want to load fast on your SSD. Oh, okay, the primary storage. Correct, the primary nice. storage. Okay, and for the power supply, We'll do a brand new concept. It's called wireless power. Ooh. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Oi! <laughs> I thought you got something cool for me. No la. If only, uh, if only they made wireless power supplies, that'd be great. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, we have an 850 watt small form factor power supply from Cooler Master, the VFX uh, 850. Nice. Okay. So, oh, it's actually the V850 oh. SFX. I usually just you know, shorten everything. Like okay. This, yeah. so, uh, that's a visual effect, sorry. Okay, so this is your 850 watt small form factor power supply. Okay, and we need something to cool all this on, right? So, let's see. My cooler, my cooler. Okay, I want something impressive for you. Uh. Nice. Okay, so this. What we have for you is Cosas new H150i Elite Capelix, um, all-in-one CPU cooler, okay? This is a 360 millimeter CPU cooler. Okay, what that means is that each fan is 120. Oh, okay. Okay, the size is 12 cm by 12 cm, 120 millimeters. Oh, okay, so it goes in intervals of 12. Correct. Okay. So if you have two, it'll be 240. Yep. If you have three, it'll be 360. Oh, okay, got okay. it. Uh, this is a 360 mm radiator. So 
uh, for those of you who are watching, I'm sure you're wondering how this fits into an ITX case. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so I think we've got all we need. Um, next steps, assembly. Let's go take a look at how we put all this together and uh, show you some awesome bureau in the process. All right, let's go. All right, so here we have it, the final build, and it looks awesome. Can you give us a rundown, a quick rundown of just what is this build all about? Sure. Okay, so first, you're looking at our new chassis, mm -hmm. our new desktop. Nice. So what's really cool about this case is that it's an ITX case. Now, it's not as small as the smallest sandwich ITX cases, but it's not meant to be, Yeah. right? It's meant to take up a little bit of your desktop space, small, less desktop space than your regular towers would, mm -hmm. but give you exceptional amounts of cooling. So as you know, you saw earlier when we assembled it, you could fit the 360 millimeter radiator at the bottom of your case, yeah. or the top, right? In this case, we mounted it at the top. Yes. Okay. Your graphics card can be long as well mm -hmm. and fat, right? So you can take up to three slots of graphics cards with three fans. Yeah. Okay, so that gives you the ability to put incredible amount of power in here, like we've done. Yeah. So for you, we've got the i9-10100K, right? That's 10 cores and 20 threads, which is really good for video editing, rendering videos and rendering 3D animation, stuff like that. Awesome. Okay. Uh, you also have the RX 6900 XT graphics card, mm -hmm. right? This is the top of the line AMD Radeon graphics card which I really want you to try. Okay, nice. because people are saying that Nvidia is great, Nvidia is good, <laughs> but in reality, they're both powerful cards. Yeah. Right? So give it a shot, let me know how it goes. I'm sure it will work well. Okay. Yeah, and it's a huge graphics card as well in a small form factor case like this. So like what you said, it it's small, but it's managed to fit powerful equipment inside there. That's right. And that is essentially the idea behind our dream machine, name to be inserted. <laughs> yeah, this case, like I think one of the things you mentioned to me before is that both sides have the transparent glass. Ah, yeah. So you can actually show off both sides, one side for your GPU and the other side for your motherboard and CPU. That's right. So it looks really great on both sides. I'm just having difficulty trying to decide which side to show off on my desk later on. I understand. But yes, a beautiful case right here. Actually, good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Another unique point about this case, right, is that um, where your motherboard mounts mm -hmm. is variable. What happens is that um, the motherboard plate mm -hmm. can be moved further in if you want all your components to be on one side. Oh, okay. Or you can move it to the center like we've done in this case, yep. so that you can put the graphics card on the other side in the sandwich layout. Nice. Okay. This gives you the flexibility of, you know, whether you want extra cooling with the graphics card underneath, mm -hmm. or whether you want to show off some awesome, uh, you know, uh, RGB like we have done over here. Yeah, yeah. With the graphics on the other side. And it looks great. And I've never seen a case like this. This is well, definitely the first time I've seen it. Thank I'm you. sure there are others out there, but exceptionally. Thanks for building something so beautiful for me. It's. Uh, uh, very unique and definitely something I want to show off to my friends. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for being with us on our journey here. Uh, happy to, you know, see how else we can help you. I can't wait to see how this looks like in your setup. Awesome. Thanks. Alright guys, so here we have it, the $4,000 video editing PC that I've been working on for the past few weeks and it has worked like a dream. A big thank you to the guys at Dreamcore for building this for me. It's working exceptionally well and really catered to what I need for video editing. If you want to find out more about their products and services, do visit the Dreamcore website. I'll leave it in the descriptions below. But I hope you have found this video informative and helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.